Okay, first we're going to be typing in lirealtor.com in our search bar. We're going to click on MLS dashboard. All right, what's going to pop up is our MLS dashboard. We're going to go down to the matrix. You're going to click on that. We're going to go at the top in the blue. It says search. We're going to click search. Today we're going to be doing a residential search. So we're going to go ahead and click residential. Okay. So now we're going to be putting in the price and this particular search. If you look over, they already have the hundreds checked off. So all we have to do is put it in as a range. So it's going to be 500 dash 700. So it's going to be a range of 500,000 to 700,000. We're going to go over to the right and put in a bedroom count, right? So we're going to be putting three in the plus sign. All right. We have to make sure we put the plus or minus sign in order for us to get more than one bedroom and more than one bathroom count. We're also going to make sure that there's no REO or bank on foreclosed property. So in that section right there, we're going to select not and we're going to say no bank owned properties and no properties that are in foreclosure um, for this particular search. That's not something that we want to come up in the search. OK, now once I'm finished doing that, um, we have a ton of different, you know, criteria options we can select from. I'm going to go for the postal code in the town just so I can start selecting multiple towns for this particular search. You do not only have to search one town at a time. We can do multiple towns or we can do one town search. So here I'm popping in a few different towns um, just to see how much available inventory is in, in these selected towns that I'm going for. So I think I'm going to do about five towns just to see what's available. They're going to be three plus bedrooms. I'm going to make sure I'm looking for a single family residence. Um, we do have other options, but on this particular search, I'm looking for a single family home. For the customer, we're going to scroll down, which gives all the additional features and criteria that we could pop in if the customer um, provided that information. Um, if not, at the bottom, we can see the results. I go ahead and click on results and we see how many results are available. I like to change the look, so I'm going to go to agent for one page and it gives me all of the property details, all the remarks the price, the taxes, the bedroom count. I can go to the bottom when I'm finished looking at this property and I can go ahead and select next and that's gonna allow me to get to the next properties that are available currently for sale in the market. Thank you.